If we want to really create this decarbonized economy, it needs to start with a decarbonized electric grid. Wind and solar are fantastic solutions, but we also know, unfortunately, because of their intermittency, they can't get the full work done on their own. And so when I discovered geothermal, I became incredibly excited. Fervo Energy is a next generation geothermal technology company. We have incorporated a number of new technologies, including horizontal drilling and advanced data analytics through fiber optic sensing to reduce the uncertainty and lower the cost of geothermal power development. The earth is really big and the earth is really hot. If you drill wells into the right places in the earth, you can actually capture that heat, bring it to the surface, and create electricity from it. Historically, the only places that have worked are places where that heat comes really close to the surface and is really readily accessible. So a country like Iceland is almost completely powered by geothermal power. Over time, there's no doubt that we can get the cost structure in a place where we could do this technology anywhere in the world, even if you don't have Iceland's geology. And so the way we do our projects, we'll drill 10,000 feet or more down, and then we'll drill thousands of feet horizontally. And as a result, every single well that we drill gets more access to that hot rock than a normal vertical well. It produces a valuable 24-7 carbon-free power supply that can support the electric grid. Starting my career in the oil and gas industry, we worked on drilling some of the first horizontal wells in South Texas, and it was incredible what that did to unlocking more oil and gas resource. And I realized that we could create this same revolution for growth in geothermal that it did historically for oil and gas production in the U.S. Now we can continue having the electric grid be the backbone of society, but do it in a completely carbon-free way. What we have to make sure is that the talented people that work in those groups, as we make this pivot away from fossil fuels, still find their place in the clean energy economy. I think that's both the right thing to do, and I think it's gonna accelerate how quickly we can address climate change.